Let's meet these members of the Astro E2 team. There's a few of us at work that we have a, we have a little band. Uh, we're called Naked Singularity. The first time I realized I would kind of like to do this was when I read a story in Scientific American many years ago, maybe in high school, about the Voyager space probes and all the problems they had from, from the moment of launch uh, up through the end of the mission. There was just difficulty after difficulty and the way the people in the control room solved these difficulties so that all the public saw was the beautiful pictures. And I thought, this is what I would like to be doing. I didn't even, as a matter of fact, dream about a job with NASA because that seemed like too big a dream. <laughs> well, I do have a degree in, in industrial arts education, which is what they call tech ed these days. But I had not uh, applied that so much in the early years of, of my career. I had done a number of technical jobs and had spent several years as a car mechanic. But at some point at, in, along there, I decided I didn't want to be a car mechanic anymore. And I was living in Southern California at a place called Big Bear Lake, and it turned out there was a solar observatory at that lake operated by Caltech. And I, I applied for and got a job there. I did operate the telescopes and worked as an observer. I also did um, machining and, and applied these technical skills throughout the plant. So that's how I got into science and then transferring that knowledge and skill base to Goddard. This is a, a trike. It's a three-wheeler. It's a geek toy, I think. It's actually a neat uh, physics trick. I grew up in Paris and I, my parents took me to uh, Le, Le Palais de la Découverte, which is like a science museum. And I remember one time, you know, I was, I was doing, there was this experiment where you, you know, you take one ball and it goes and then one ball goes up. And, you know, the, the guy said, you know, who can predict what is going to happen? And, you know, to me, it seemed, it seemed totally obvious that if you take two, the two will. So I, you know, I, I said that and the guy goes, you're good. And so then I thought, oh, I see. I mean, this is something I can do. It had occurred to me that physics was actually linked to anything that moved. While not directly on the Astro E2 team, NASA astrophysicist Dr. Kim Weaver is eager to work with Astro E2 data. She explains what got her interested in working at NASA. When I was five years old, we landed on the moon, and I was hit by a car that day and put in the hospital. And I remember being so upset that I was not going to see the moon landing. That's one small step for man. That was a fundamental turning point for me. Ever since that day, I wanted to work for NASA. So I'm here now, today.